Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum my name is Asan and today we are going to open Elementor menu from left side in our Elementor WordPress website before starting work it's my request please subscribe my channel thank you now back to our work so we are using Elementor Pro plugin so this is our header and we are going to open menu from left side in both desktop and mobile layout so this is our header logo and menu now go to dashboard and we are using Elementor Pro plugin. So first we are going to create pop-up on left side you see templates and then you see pop-up so click on it. So we are going to create pop-up so click on add new pop-up and then you can add name and then click on create template and then you see pop-up so close it. So we are going to create pop-up from scratch. So first we are going to do pop-up setting and then you see pop-up. On top you see setting icon so click on it and then you see setting style advance now you see width and then you see height now click on it and then fit to screen and then you see content position top now make it center or you can do setting later when we add menu and then you see position left center right now we select left so we are going to open menu from left side and then you see vertical position center overlay close button now both show now you see close button enable overlay again now you see and then you see interest animation so you can select according to requirement now you see fade in and then you see exist animation now select fade out so you can select according to requirement and then you see animation duration 1.2 second and then you see general setting so click on it so this is our title and then you see preview setting now scroll up you see style so click on it so we are going to add background type now classic so we are going to add background color so you can set color scheme according to requirement so we select this if you want you can add image so it's up to you border type border radius and then you see box shadow already added now you see overlay so click on it and then you see color now select so you can set opacity according to requirement now you see opacity 0 so you can do setting according to requirement and then you see close button so click on it now you see black our background color is red and then you see color now make it white now you see if you want you can increase size so it's up to you now you see and then you see our color if you want you can add our color scheme vertical position horizontal position you can set and then you see position inside outside so it's up to you now select inside and then scroll up you see advanced so click on it now you see setting advanced show close button after second auto close after prevent closing on overlay if you want you can enable this so only close when click on close button prevent closing on escape yes if you want you can disable page scrolling so when menu is open page scrolling disable so if you want you can enable or disable and then you see accessible navigation you see multiple option custom css so you can do setting according to requirement so after that we are going to add menu then you see plus icon so click on it now click on flex box so we are going to add single column so you can select now remove other now you see so click on it and then expand it 100% again click on it so we are going to add menu now set here menu now you see wordpress menu so drag and drop here now you see menu edit and then you see menu name menu so you can select menu according to requirement and then you see layout horizontal now select vertical so we select layout vertical now you see and then you see our content in center position in pop-up setting so click on it now you see content position center so you can select top like this and then you can add padding on top so it's up to you now click on menu again and then you see alignment pointer animation so you can do color scheme according to requirement and then you see breakpoint so none so we are going to display left side menu on both desktop and mobile layout and then you see icon so we don't need it because we disable breakpoint now scroll up you see style so click on it 
and then you see typography our color scheme text color now make it white so you can set our color scheme now you see so it's up to you you can set horizontal padding vertical padding space between drop down so you can do color scheme according to requirement now we are going to reduce width now you see width pop up again click on pop up setting so click on it now you see 640 so for desktop we are going to set 250 so you can set width according to requirement now you see 270 for desktop so you can set for tablet or mobile according to requirement now click on mobile now you see so you can reduce mobile width so it's up to you now you see then you see tablet again click on desktop if you want you can add some padding on top so it's up to you now you see advanced option so click on it and then you see margin or padding now you see padding first uncheck link value all together now we are going to add padding top like 50 so you can set padding top for mobile tablet and desktop layout according to requirement now you see and then click on publish so we don't add any condition because we are going to open this using toggle button now click on save and close now you see your pop-up is live now go to elementor adder so this is our adder and this is our menu now delete it and then click on delete now you see menu delete and then in search wizard so we are going to add button now you see button so drag and drop here now you see button added and then you see type text so we are going to remove text and we are going to add icon now you see icon so you can select icon library now search here bars now you see now select and then click on insert now you see icon edit and then you see link option and dynamic tag so click on dynamic tag so we are going to link pop up now you see multiple option and then you see action pop up so click on it now again click on it and then you see all pop up now select so you can add pop up name now searching and then you see left menu template now select so we link pop up to this button and then we are going to make some styling on top you see style so click on it and then you see background color now make it transparent like this so you can add hover color also so it's up to you now you see and then you see multiple option border type box shadow padding now scroll up you see position now make it right now you see and then we are going to increase size now you see typography so click on it so you can increase size like this so it's up to you and then click on publish now publish done go to website page and refresh the page and then you see logo and menu when we hover on it then you see so click on it now you see menu open from left side when we click on our lay menu not close only close from this again click on it now back to pop up again so we are in pop up setting now go to setting again and then you see interest animation now select and then select slide in slide in left and then fade out slide out left and then you see animation duration so you can reduce it so you can do setting according to requirement now scroll up you see advanced so click on it if you want to close menu on escape key or overlay so you can disable this option and then click on publish again again click on save and close now publish done go to website page and refresh the page again you see add a logo and menu so this is our button and we link pop up to this button so click on it now you see slide in now close now you see slide out again click on menu slide in slide out so if you want you can enable close option on overlay or escape key so it's up to you so this is our desktop layout now we are going to activate mobile layout to check our menu and then you see mobile simulator activate the mobile view on this page so click on it now mobile layout open and then expand menu now you see slide out slide in now close again open 
so you can add padding you can do color scheme according to requirement now on both desktop and mobile and tablet menu open from left side so i hope you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you for watching